Hello everyone here at osmgxreviews.com. You're watching our retro review of the LG CG300. This is a GSM quad band world phone that is on contract with AT&T slash Singular Service in the United States, and it has a contract subsidized price of only around $150 when it was released originally a very long time ago. Now the interesting thing about this product is that it's a flip phone, and at the time it combined a lot of newer functionalities, including a speaker phone that had a large speaker, um, and as a result, in playing back music and you know seeing your uh, phone ring and your your ringtone was, was going to be played back in a very loud manner, and also had a built-in camera which was only VGA quality but it has a flash and a self-portrait mirror, so that's um, all nice features. In addition, it combined a pretty functional and rather large LCD display with a nice tactile. Uh, navigational pad. Let's take a look at some of the closer uh, options on this, fun on this phone. In front here we have the aforementioned uh, speaker for uh, you know listening to music and such. Down below here we have a large LED monochrome display for displaying for showing you missed calls and contact information, volume information, and other functionalities. On the left side of the device we have access to a 2.5mm headphone jack which is non-standard unfortunately but it means that you can plug in a pair of earphones and then talk to people that way instead of using the uh, built-in earpiece. We also have access to a push to talk key, which is actually a very special feature considering a push to talk functionality is usually only found in Sprint Nextel phones and not in AT&T phones. But this AT&T phone in particular has push to talk walkie talkie functionality. Uh, what that means is that I have two of these uh, Motorola CG300 phones, uh, or LG sorry, CG300 phones, I could push on this and talk to my friend for free, basically, even within that uh, distance, just like, I'm, just like I'm using a walkie-talkie, which is, again, a very special feature. Bottom wheel here, we have access to a uh, volume up and down buttons, and these keys are pretty easy to press. We're always excited to see dedicated volume control keys on the side of a flip phone, because a lot of manufacturers tend not to add these on a flip phone, which is unfortunate. And on the right-hand side, we have access to a camera key. This allows us to take quick camera shots just by pressing that button or pressing it like this. I'm, I'm seeing the, the camera on the back like so. So it's a dedicated key for taking pictures. Down below here, we have access to the uh, ch charger and also dubs as a cradle port where you can plug it into a cradle to connect it to a PC. And of course, on the back, we have access to that aforementioned VGA quality camera with a LED flash as well as a self-portrait mirror. And you have a large antenna stub, as you can see on the top. And after removing the back cover, we'll find access to the battery, as well as a SIM card slot for hot swapping SIM cards across different nations if you get it unlocked. Now flipping over the phone, we have access to a quite large, again, LCD display. It's pretty bright and vibrant. We also have a earpiece for calling people and hearing them. And down below here we have the actual navigational uh, D-pad. Uh, it's a pretty spacious T9 style layout. Um, LG did a very nice job of making this very spacious because the phone's footprint is quite large as well. Even though it's made out of plastic, um, the LG, LG CG300 is one of the most solid feeling phones thanks to its use of, uh, again, uh, more glossy materials, piano black finishes, and overall it just feels really nice in the hand. It feels pretty durable for some reason. Again, taking a closer look here, we have a large and spacious uh, dial pad area. It's going to bring us all our traditional buttons, and they are risen above the surface, so you can call people very easily, even in darker environments, because it is tactile and easy to feel your way around. And on the top, we have access to a five-way navigation D-pad that also dubs as your mail key, as your um, file manager key, is your uh, phone book key, and other functionality. We also have access to a dedicated camera application button, which will bring up the camera, which is one of the main features of this phone. You also have access to that phone book again. We have access to two hotkeys, talk and end keys, and clear and back buttons. This is just a retro look back at uh, one of the more popular flip phones for AT&T and Singular back in the day, uh, for LG especially. It has a very nice industrial design, has quite a, a few functions that we really came to love, um, and just worked really well. It had a great battery life and great call quality as you might expect from such a basic handset. So thanks for watching our retro review of the LG CG300 for Sprint uh, for AT&T Singular service. Thanks for watching.